NASCAR Winston Cup Racing from Michigan International Speedway. Brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Budweiser, the best things in life are the things that are true. Budweiser, the Home Depot, NASCAR's home improvement warehouse. And Yamaha, makers of fine motorcycles and ATVs. Nobody's more in tune with motorsports than Yamaha. 150,000 fans here celebrating 35 years of racing at the Michigan International Speedway. Kevin Harvick in first, out first off of pit road. He won at Indianapolis, he's leading here. Here are the guys that got to kiss the bricks at the brickyard and got him out first off of pit road at Michigan. Todd Berry, your crew chief, Kernersville, North Carolina. Jim Jeffries, windshield, Yakima, Washington. Kevin Gabriel, front tire carrier, Lexington, North Carolina. Jason Pulver, front tire changer, Tucson, Arizona. Mike Sears, Jack Mann, Reedy Creek, North Carolina. Kenny Barber, rear tire carrier, Music Falls, New York. Aaron Smith, rear tire changer, Denton, North Carolina. Brian Englehart, gas man, Greenfield Center, New York. Kirk Omblis, catch can man. Wyeth, California. Kevin Harvick won at Indianapolis. Last week, his teammate Robbie Gordon won at Watkins Glen. RCR going for three in a row. Down pit road to Dave. Bill, Jeff Gordon uh, came down pit road, not for motor-related problems, but for a left front tire that was going down. It was indeed flat when he got to pit road. He didn't come in on this last stop, so he's now at the tail end of the lead lap. Hoping to stay in front of leader Kevin Harvick and get a quick caution and make up two miles on a free pass. Stewart is second, Robbie Gordon is third, Terry Levati, great pit stop, out fourth, and Greg Biffle is fifth, followed by Ryan Newman, Sterling Marlin, Rusty Wallace, Michael Waltrip, and Bill Elliott. You heard the description of the Jimmy Johnson pit stop as being long. He's all the way back to 11th. As Harvick disposes of Gordon. Quickly. Yeah, yeah that didn't last long. So Jeff, one lap down in 39th place. And the bad run of luck that's seen his championship hopes take a big hit in the last month or so continues today here at Michigan. Tony Stewart on the very bottom of the racetrack, the orange car trying to get by Jeff Gordon. He does. Now only one car in front of Tony Stewart for the lead. Tony Stewart in that 20 car started 23rd. Now in second spot. And my guess is might be able to pass that 29. He's shown incredible speed today. Whoops, wait a minute. What are you front of Gordon down in turn one? Well, yeah, it looks like uh, Gordon pushed up. It looks like the first couple laps. Look at Elliott Sadler trying to get yeah, back up with the leaders and get back on the lead lap. Wow. Terry Labonte is going by Tony Stewart. That's for second place. Terry took third from Robbie Gordon last lap. Five car on the move. He thinks he's got a problem or something. I know something up with that 20 car, sure. Sure all looks like right. all quiet on the radio so far. Robbie Gordon looking underneath Tony. This should be for fourth place. Maybe Tony just needs to get off the bottom. Check that. That'd be for third place. Harvick leads, Terry Labonte second. Now Tony is third, Ryan Newman slipping around Robbie Gordon for fourth. And Ricky Rudd drives by the 31 car of Robbie Gordon. Rudd in the 21, a lap down. There's a battle of position, the 16 of Greg Biffle, the two of Rusty Wallace. Sixth and seventh. Well, now Jeff Gordon's not even the first car one lap down as Elliott Sadler goes by him. All right, we wondered if something was up on the 20 car. Bill, what'd you find out? Just a little free on the get-go, Allen, so watch for that throughout the race. But just a little free on the early laps after they stop. Bill, starting with Dover, Terry Levon has been on a great run of momentum. Only one finish outside of the top 20 today. 
battling a tight race car from the get-go. Another track oh, bar trouble. adjustment. Todd Bodine and Kenny Wallace. Bodine's car is pitched up in the air. Don't fire. A heavy crash. Wow. Bodine and Kenny Wallace both out of their yeah. cars. Todd had the window net down before the car stopped. And Kenny was getting out of his car before it stopped. See Kenny's Hans device on the back of his neck. Kenny's car was on fire. He was going to get out, I think, fast. And there's Todd. You see how uh, Kenny's car was just submarined underneath Todd's? Todd's lucky he didn't go over on his roof. Third caution of the race. I tell you what, I got to give these medical workers an A for their response because they were there. They've always been great here at, MI, at, at Michigan Speedway. They really have. Helped by the fact that the field was still bunched up pretty tightly together on the restart. Once the pack went by the wreck, they could roll. There you see the 54 car in the middle. Kenny Wallace up high. This is racing for 25th place. And Kurt Busch is going to get in the 54 and turn right. him up in front of the 23. Yep. Look at that. Wow. And all that fire is coming from Kenny Wallace's car. Yes. Yeah, the Taco Dine was right down on the 97 car. Mm, heavy contact with a big hit. Side. Yeah. Yeah, the left front wheel got ripped right off the car. Now, watch the, if we keep watching this thing, watch the window net on top of Dine's car. Watch Kenny, Kenny drops his right here. Yeah, he drops his and then Todd drops his too while he's still on top of Kenny. We keep following this. I believe Kenny was out of his car before his car stopped. And he was trying to get out. That's a camera shot. Ooh. Now that is an unmanned camera, so you know that's a camera that operates on a robot, so there wasn't anybody standing behind that. Tons of debris and a nasty accident, but both drivers out of their cars quickly and okay. And because the fires on those cars weren't in the trunk, that new fire extinguisher system that Dave showed you on Discover Card Countdown to Green doesn't come into play there. But look at the damage. Mm. None of the leaders have come down pit road. We'll take a break. You're watching NASCAR on TNT. Under caution here at the Michigan International Speedway after a crash on the back straightaway. Pit road has not yet been opened for the lead lap car, so none of the leaders have come in yet. Our NASCAR Bush Series update. Yesterday, Kevin Harvick winning a rain-shortened event here at Michigan. Tony Stewart dominated. Harvick won when the rain came out 15 laps shy of the scheduled distance, and he was out front through a little neat strategy. Look at the championship race heading to Bristol this Friday night. Now the Craftsman Truck Update. No race this weekend for the trucks, but they'll take that fight for the championship to Bristol Wednesday night. Midweek special on the high banks there. Brendan Gaunt leading Travis Quapple by just seven points. What a mess. Man. Man, what a torn up race car. But both drivers okay. And very quickly out of their cars at the end of the crash. I'm not sure if they waited till the end of the crash. Once again, the 54 car goes right down next to Kurt Busch. Now, whether or not there's contact or not there, I don't know. Oh, there's definitely contact. It looks like there is. Yeah. Looks like they just touched. Maybe the rear tires touched. And Todd into the wall. Now watch Kenny Walsh in the 23 car. We got a good shot of him. The window net, as they said, is already down. Look, he's coming out already. His he's head's out he's the out. Window. The car's still moving. He's getting out of there. Yeah, well, that thing's hot. Getting away from there. Now Todd go down is out of his car. Amazing. Now watch this angle. Watch the window net up. Todd Bodine's car. He feels all that fire. Yep, he's one. That's dropped right now. That is down. See, when he felt that fire, he didn't know that it wasn't his car on fire. It right. might have been his car, so he didn't realize it was Kenny Walsh's 
car that before he was feeling the heat. He was feeling that heat too. Yeah, he was feeling that heat. He was like kid, he was getting out of there quick. Look, they're bailing out of the cars and there's still another car coming down the track. Yeah. That's a scary thing, but when you're on fire, oh. you're not thinking about that. You're just thinking about getting out. That was an unbelievable hit. That was one of the hardest I've seen in a long time. And there goes the wheel, trying to catch up with his car. It's like a calf falling his mama down the race Despite the tethers that are supposed to hold him onto the track, the uh, chassis. I'm not sure that was a wheel or just the tire that ripped off a wheel. Either way, both drivers out of their cars and okay. Pit road still closed. Waiting to see if they're going to open it this lap. But um, Todd Bodine and Kenny Wallace involved in a scary accident. Fortunately, both okay. All right, so do they open pit road? And if they do, does everybody come in? Last pit stops were at lap 55. This is 66. Several of those laps under caution. Nope, not going to open it yet. So let's take a break while they're under caution and they're still cleaning up. Yet to open the pit lane. We'll see if any of the leaders choose to come in.